All right. Our praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone or GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. All right. This is the brother Atazaria from the uh, GMS Houston camp. And um, get right into it. Okay. Because this is what is going, this is what the Lord is coming back to find. Okay. Um, this is the book of Luke, chapter 18 and verse 8. It say, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Who are the them? The elect. Okay. And we know the reason why it's saying speedily, because as the scriptures say, uh, in the book of St. Peter, matter of fact, let me get a scripture. All right. Uh, let me bring this one out first. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 37. It say, for yet a little while and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. OK. Verse 38. Matter of fact, let me let me start up. This Hebrews 10 and uh, 36, it says, For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Heavenly Father, ye might receive the promise. Okay? So, nobody know who the elect is. Okay? we don't. I don't know if I'm the elect, along with all the rest of the uh, men that are out doing the will of the Heavenly Father, to the best of our ability. Okay? Uh... But the scripture is saying for uh, Hebrews 10 and uh, 36, for ye have need of patience. OK, and we must have patience. OK, the scriptures speak about patience all over the place, man. OK, one of my favorite scriptures is uh, here's the faith and the patience of the saints in the book of Revelation 13, 9 and 10. OK, here's the faith and the patience of the saints. OK, that. You know, we waiting for those that led us into captivity to go into captivity. OK, those that kill with the sword to be killed with the sword. OK, roughly paraphrasing. OK, so and then we have patience in all things, meaning we suffering until the Lord returns. OK, it says for ye have need Hebrews 10 and 36 for ye have need of patience. It's a need. OK. It's a necessity. All right. It says that after ye have done the will of the Heavenly Father, because it's all about doing the will of the Lord, man. Okay. As we're going to get into the scriptures and see. Okay. Because when you do the will of the Lord, you're showing your faith. All right. That ye, may, that ye might receive the promise for yet a little while. And he that shall come will come. And will not tarry. See the Lord, like the scriptures say, though it tarry, wait for it. It will not tarry. Okay. The Lord is gonna come as a thief in the night. He's not gonna tarry. Okay. Now the just. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. Now the just shall live by faith. You see, the just, okay, shall live by faith. But if any man draw back. My soul shall have no pleasure in him. Okay. So if you lose faith, the Lord ain't going to have pleasure in you. It says, but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. Okay. Unto destruction. Okay. But of them that believe that have faith to the saving of the soul. Okay. So that's what we're hoping. You know, that we are the, of those in verse 39, Hebrews uh, 10 and 39. Okay. I'm going to hit the brother back. Okay. Oh, I guess you can't get it off of that. That's all right. It say, But we are not of them who draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. That's what we hope to be saved. Okay. Now, I want to go back to Luke 18 and 8. It say, I tell you 
that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, again, he's coming as a thief in the night. Uh, let's let's just get that in Second Peter, chapter three, and um, I'm gonna start at seven. It says, "But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire, against the day of judgment and perdition, destruction, of ungodly men, but beloved, but elect, but election." Be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. Okay, because when you go back to uh, verse uh, four, or really verse three in second Peter three and three, it says, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffing, walk, scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Okay. But the Lord is not slack as some men count slackness. Okay. Let me read it again. This is Second Peter 3 and 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us ward, not willingly that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Okay. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. You see. He's going to come speedily. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt. With fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein. Shall be burned up. Okay. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be. In all holy conversation and godliness. Okay. And your conversation is your walk. Okay. And your walk reflects your faith. Okay. Your belief. Okay. If your belief ain't strong. And you kind of nonchalant about it. Then your walk is going to reflect that. Okay. You're not going to be diligent. Okay. Or, or we won't. You know. To whom it may apply. Okay, so let's go back to St. Luke 18 and 8. Let's get on into this. It says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Okay, when the Lord come back, he's, look, he's coming back for the faithful. Okay, now let's get another scripture. I'm going to try to go through this as fast as possible. I got a lot of precepts. Okay. Let's go to the book of St. Matthew, chapter 25 and verse 14. Uh, let me see if that's the one I want to get first. You know what? And I'm not going to go through that whole parable. Because this is the parable of the uh, talents. Okay. And it spoke about the the men that went out and, and made more and the one that buried his talent. Okay. And um, it's a parable. You know, you got this understanding. You know what you're going to do with it. Are you going to go out and bring in fruit? Or are you just going to sit on it? Okay. But if you got faith, you're going to get out there and, and, and get, get take care of the Lord's business. Okay, and get that money up, like Jake like to say, get that get that money up, okay? Which is also a reflection of your faith. All right? So let me go straight to the point. Um This is St. Matthew chapter 25 and verse and anybody can go back and read this uh chapter for themselves for the sake of time. I'm not going to go all into it. This is St. Matthew chapter 25 and verse uh, 21. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm starting at 20. It says, and he said, and Salakia, and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You see? Thou has been faithful 
over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things into thou into the joy of thy Lord. Okay. Now let's go from there. Let's go to the book of same same book. Let's go to the fifth chapter. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna just try to go through this as fast as possible for the sake of time. Okay, and uh attention spans. All right, and this is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 5. And I want to start at verse um, 2. It says, And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Okay? Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see the heavenly father. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of the heavenly father. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you. And persecute you and, sh and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Okay. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Okay. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savor wherewith shall it be salted? It's going to be bland. It is then thenceforth the good for nothing. But to cat to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Okay. Now, why did I bring that out? Because all these that are blessed share one characteristic. Their faith. Okay. You lose your salt. You ain't no more good. You lose your faith. You ain't no more good. Well, what, what I'm going to put some... A, Salt into a pot that ain't got no savor. Okay. You don't make sense. You ain't got that. It ain't got that, that flavor. Okay. Now let's go from there. And Lord willing, this is edifying. And this is being understood. Let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 11. And I'm going to start at verse 1. And I'm going to kind of jump around. All right. Because this thing is a thing of faith. Okay. Yes, we are faith-based. You have to be. This is Hebrews 11. <laughs> 11 and 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay? That's what faith is, man. Things we ain't seen. We hoping for them. Okay? Now let's jump. We haven't seen the Lord return on the chariots or none of that, man. OK, that's why the world can't receive it, because they don't have no faith in this. They can't believe it. All right. Oh, chariots and UFOs and the Lord coming back. Save it, man. Hey, you know. And as I read in Second Peter, the scoffers been saying the same thing. You tell our people two thirds. Oh, man, they've been talking about their favor, man. They've been talking about the world going to come to the end of the Lord returning for, forever, man. They ain't been saying that. It ain't never happened. Things going to get back right. Okay? All right, then. Well, we'll see. Okay? And then I'm going to end with a good scripture, too, which they all good. But uh, I ain't going to put it out. I'll, I'll just say the best for last. Not the best, but, you know, the conclusion of this, okay, for those that are unfaithful. All right, so let's jump to Hebrews 11 and 6. It says, but without faith, is it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the heavenly father must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. OK, by faith, Noah being warned of the heavenly father of things not seen as yet. Same thing with us, man. We haven't seen these things. We haven't seen the chariots coming down out of the sky. Okay. This is going to be a day like there's never been. Okay. 
It say, by faith, Noah being one of the Heavenly Father, we will wander the Heavenly Father through the preaching of the gospel. Okay? Of things not seen as yet. Okay? Because back then, it had never rained. So they told Noah he was crazy. Them same scoffers. And they back here today. Okay? So when it started raining, then it got real. See, now it's starting to drizzle. And people is losing their minds. Okay? Wait till the flood come in. Wait, wait till Jacob's trouble just... You see, you got camps out there teaching and it ain't going to be... We just going to transition over into the kingdom. Nah, man. It's not going to go like that. <sighs> Hebrews 11 and 7. By faith, Noah being warned of the heavenly father of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. You see? See, it all starts with that fear. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's get a scripture. Uh, <laughs> boy, that's right. Um... I'll get this one. Because it's a lot of them that speak about having fear of the Lord, man. Okay. Um, and I get this one. This is the book of Sirocco Ecclesiasticus, chapter 1 and verse 14. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Period. Point blank, man. All right. Let's go back to Hebrews 11 and 7. By faith, Noah being warned of the heavenly father of things not seen as yet moved with fear. See? All these things go together. Fear, faith. Okay? It say, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world. Same thing that we do through the power and the spirit of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Okay. And became heir. And that's what we're hoping to be, man. Heirs. Joint heirs. As it speaks about in the book of Romans, the eighth chapter. Okay. Of the righteousness which is by faith. Okay. Let me read it one more time. By the which he condemned the world and became heir to the righteousness which is by faith. It's no getting around it. Okay. And I could go into. You know. Because you got brothers out there. Talking about. It's about keeping the law. Yeah we keep the law to the best of our ability. Okay. But that's not what's going to save us. Okay. Let's go to. Hebrews 11 and 17. It says, by faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Of whom it was said that in Isaac. I'll call it back to. Uh, it says, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Okay. Verse 19, accounting that the heavenly father was able to raise him up even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. Okay, so it was by faith, man. Um, Don't let verse 20 trip you up. Okay. Because it says, by faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau. Yeah, they both got blessings. Okay. But we got the promise. Okay. Uh, Esau's blessing was the uh, fatness of the earth. Matter of fact, let me get it in uh, the book of Genesis real quick. All right. Uh, Genesis 27 and 39. 
Uh, I started 38. It says, And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay. Ah, damn it. All kind of madness coming. Well, I ain't going to say madness. You know, that was madness. But anyway. uh, Shit. Salakia. I should have cut off these notifications. Uh, that's all right. Let me finish this lesson. Okay. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. And by the sword shalt thou live and serve thy brother. Okay. And that's part of his blessing, too. He's going to serve his brother. Okay. The elder shall serve the younger. All right. That's in uh, Genesis also. I think in 25... Yep, 23. And the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, talking about Rebecca, and two men of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Okay, talking about Esau serving Jacob. Okay. So don't let verse 20 trip you up in Hebrews 11 and 20. All right. That's the explanation of that. Esau did get his blessing. He's. He's living it. He's dealing with it now. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter Edom. Okay? Because your time is up, Jack. All right. Um, let's see what else we got. Let's go to Romans. All right. Chapter 3. And 23, it says, uh, this is Romans 20, uh, Salakia, Romans 3 and 23, I was looking at them. It says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the heavenly father, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, whom the heavenly father had set forth to be a prop propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness and Salakia. It says, whom the heavenly father had set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of the heavenly father. Okay. Now, it says, all have sinned. Yeah, well, who is the law given to? Because sin is transgression of the law. The Israelites. Okay. Uh, excuse me one second. Let me get this book. Let me see where I put it. Okay. So lock you. I want to get that word and bring out the definition on it, propitiation. All right. And let's see. Bear with me one second. Okay, this is a uh, propitiate to gain or regain, okay, the favor or goodwill of, appease, conciliate, all right, um, and that's it, okay, so that's what that word means, okay, through the blood of the Lord, man, okay, it took that sacrifice, okay, of the Lord's blood being uh spilled or shed rather. Okay. Let's go back 
Romans uh, 23 and uh, 26, it says, To declare, I say, at this time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Yahweh Shai. Okay, got faith. Uh, where is the boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works. Nay, but by the law of faith. See? Okay. Let's get, get another scripture. Let's go to Philippians. Quick, quick, quick. Philippians 3 and 8. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, my Lord, for whom I have suffered, remember that patience, the loss of all things. Okay, well, that's not saying the same thing. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb, okay? And you know, we we we've lost everything, man. I mean, we really ain't had nothing to lose in the first place. Okay. Um, the loss of all things and do count them but dung, that I may win Yahweh Shahamashiach and be found in him, okay, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Hamashiach, the righteousness which is of the Heavenly Father by faith. Get one more scripture. We're going to end it off. Because the point has definitely been made, man. This thing is about faith, man. The Lord is coming back for the faithful. This is the book of uh, 2 Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 4. It says, For all the unfaithful, the unbelievers, shall die in their unfaithfulness, die in their unbelief. Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to give all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakadash, double honest to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, or GMS, peace and blessings to the brothers, the sincere Akim out there, to the sisters that's trying to do what's right, peace and blessings unto you also. All right. Um, you know what? Let me see something real fast. Um, you know what? Let me get this. Salaki. I thought it was over. It's not over. Not over to the Lord say so. Let's see if that's the scripture. Uh. Bear with me one second. I think this is it. Let me see. That's one. That's not the one I wanted. But uh, let me see. Salakia. Let's see. This might be it. Uh, bear with me one second. This might be it. This might be it. That's not it. Uh... see basically want to get scripture saying that faith is a gift okay i think it's in ephesians yes this is it now i close it on this this is ephesians 2 and 8 for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Heavenly Father. Okay? And that's what I want to get. Alright? So it's on to the next one. And again, Lord willing, this was edifying. Until then, I say Shalom.